winner tonight at Fonda. Make sure to come back in the next couple days. We'll have our pre-race interview where uh, Stuart Fries will tell me more about how the season has actually gone. Started fourth. I was joking with some people that were standing near me. I was like, I think I saw this race at the Short Track Super Series. Fourth to the lead, then the flat, then back to the lead. Boy, you can't win a race much better than that. It's got to make was, you feel good. Uh, it was an eventful 30 laps, that's for sure. Um, you know, got to the lead and then got a flat right rear. And, uh, you know, challenging track tonight. There's been a lot of rain in the area. And um, just uh, was able to find a little bit of a lane up on the top there at the end and, and, you know, get around Matt. What do you tell yourself when you're on your way in the pits and you're just coming back out? How do you keep yourself calm and not be too aggressive while still being aggressive enough that's, to get through traffic? That's, uh, that's a good question. Uh, I've been through this situation a couple times before where, um, you know, I've compounded the problem. So you just don't want to do that. First and foremost, you got to make sure. Um, you can pick guys off and get rolling again. You don't want to do more damage um, by going a little too hard. And then once it got rolling, you know, we had a couple of timely cautions. Um, Danny Varon had some bad luck. He was flying, and then he broke. He looked pretty good there, didn't he? Yeah, he was uh, He was super fast, you know. Um, the big blocks were, were rolling tonight. So he um, was able to, to pick a couple lanes and then have a couple of clean restarts and, uh, and, you know, finally get mad on the top. And obviously, you had to pass your wife twice. Uh, you got to be careful, right? Well, I think uh, she's a little upset about that that one restart that called that got that got called back. Um, but, okay. You know, she she had a little bit of a motor stumble. Uh, we got to work on that this week. And, okay. Uh, Is that why she came out at the back of the heat? There? Yeah, we were just a little bit of a stumble. I think a little little carburetor issue. Um, that, we, that we've been chasing a little bit with that car actually um we had a couple we had our spec motor in that well this one was getting repaired and uh oh spec 358 that too so uh we'll work on that this week and uh you know we got some racing coming up so um it's definitely a wild racetrack on a wild wednesday here at fonda thanks to all our guys um it takes a lot of work to to prepare two cars to come here to fonda and um it's our home track we love it um just thanks to Helmar, thanks to all our great sponsors, product sponsors, Thousand Islands RV, Henry's been a great supporter. Uh, my brother Brett um, Bart at, at Bart, Bart Contracting has been uh, with us for a bunch of years now. Bill Lake Modular Homes, who's close by here local, and has been a supporter for Jess for years. Corepack Merchandising, uh, Tammy 10 Media. It's, it's a great group, um, a lot of competitive people on this team, and um, you know the wins are, are what we race for. Seemed like cautions fell about the right time as you were working your way back up too, didn't they? Yeah, absolutely. No, it, it was timely. Um, you know, the track was so choppy. Once things kind of shook out, you know, it was hard to kind of make make ground. So the restarts were key. Um, you know, bunch us back up and then being able to to get a nose and show guys noses and and move around a little bit. Uh, Larry and I raced hard and um, tough field here. So. Uh, it was, it was like you said though. It was, it was key to have a couple timely cautions. You had to drive the thing like you stole it. It looked like all night, right? Yeah, yeah. I didn't, uh, I didn't do it any favors. Uh, <laughs> the Bicknell guys do a great job building awesome race cars. So um, that's the last thing I need to worry about. And uh, you know, our Velco wheels did a great job. We, you know, a lot of guys had problems sucking left ears off the beads and stuff. And uh, our Velco wheels did the job for us tonight too. Good job. Good to see you, man, and good luck this weekend. Yeah, thanks for coming here to Fonda, Doug. All right, now Saturday morning, I'm going to run that one I did uh, pre-race. He'll talk about more stuff there. What's our win total for with on dirt? Uh, 13 on there. 13, 13 and five thanks, in a row. Thanks to Ed Bidding. Five in a row here, right? Yes. Very yes, good. Yep. I'll watch you this weekend. Good luck, man. Thank you. Remember, like and subscribe. Stuart Friesen, your big winner here tonight at Fonda.